Hey guys, it's Archie Luxury. Archie Luxury from the Archie Luxury channel, the Paul Pluter channel, and Archie Luxury corporate. Guys, keep watching, keep watching. I need the viewers. I need the viewers, I need the subs, I need it. Like, subscribe, and tell your friends. Tell your friends, whether you like them or hate them. Just tell them anyhow. Archie Luxury on YouTube. Hey guys, Archie Luxury on the Archie Luxury channel. Today, guys, I'm doing a paid review. This is paid review 20 SE1. 20 SE1. Uh, and before we do this review, let's do a quick whist, whist, whist watch check. I'm wearing a Patek Philippe 5196 Calatrava. Manual wind, yellow gold. This is the Grand Classic. Okay, let's jump straight in. Hi Paul, just donated to you. Uh, you're welcome to make a video out of this if you see fit. Need some pontifical guidance. I have the opportunity and intention to buy a brand new Explorer out of my local AD. After a good third quarter 2020 fee coming my way. However, something scratched me to check out Chrono 20. Four. And I found out I can get into a decent shape two-tone Submariner for about 3,000 more. The answer seems obvious, however, it's really, really, really not my style at the moment. I'm entrepreneuring in the medical field, although I'm not a doctor. And you really don't want to stand out or outclass anyone in what I do. Furthermore, I already have a decent watch, a bronze tutor, which I really like. Give me the guidance. Okay, so here we go. Very valid question. He's looking at buying a brand new Explorer 1. And he's gone and realized he can get a two-tone Submariner. I can get a decent two-tone sub for 3,000 more. And I gotta tell you, this his name is Yasser. Yasser. What the hell? So what? So what? So what? So what? So what, Yasser? I don't understand this. Uh, you know, man, this is really quite a dumb question there. It is a little bit more, however... However, what are you buying? Is this apples with apples, oranges with oranges? The brand new two-tone Submariner is actually significantly more. What we're talking about when you really pull this apart is you're getting a pre-ceramic, pre-ceramic two-tone Submariner. We're looking at a completely different animal. I don't know what the hell you're trying to say there. He's asking me which way should he go there. Well, let me tell you. It depends what you want and what you're trying to do. There's a lot of merit for buying the Explorer 1. It's a steel classic sports watch. No date, no nonsense. It's a design icon. Your money is pretty well safe. Pretty well safe. It's a great watch. The second hand one we're looking at, well, let's just back the truck up. We must remember for that 3,000 more, we're not getting a ceramic one. We're not getting a current model. We're getting a 10 year old one. I mean, this question is stupid, absolutely stupid. This is, yes, it comes to me like this is some great big secret. No, it's not, mate. That is a really stupid question and uh, I mean look which way would I go well I think there's a lot of merits for going for the Explorer 1 and there's a lot of merits for the the two-tone Submariner I've actually owned one of these Submariners I had a V serial number a V serial number it was the last basically the last series before they went ceramic and I had that for a while. It was a great watch. However, some negatives. It's got the really crappy 
clasp. A clasp is the old sort of clasp, like pressed tin. Uh, it's not the latest model. Some people that's really important with. I actually like it being the previous model, but you come to me like this is some great oracle. It's like saying, hey, Archie, I can buy a brand new 3 Series BMW. But, hey, guess what, Archie? I had a look outside at the used car lot, the used section, and, you know, I can get a 5-year-old 7 Series well, a 10-year-old 7 Series, a 5-year-old 5 Series for the same money. What should I do? And this is just ridiculous. It depends what you want. <clears throat> Seriously, I think, man, you've got to... Uh, it depends on the condition of the Submariner. It depends on what... Has it been serviced? Because you've got to factor in. You're buying a brand new one. It's fully operational. You buy a used one. Hey, you don't know... Whether when it was serviced, you've also got to factor in what's the waterproofing because hey, if it's if it's a ten year old, so so you're looking at a watch. These were phased; they changed over two thousand and nine, two thousand and ten ish. It's at least ten years old, if not longer. Uh, I think honestly, there is a lot of merit in buying the the two tone Submarine if you really want one of those. By all means, I've actually owned both. Both those watches, I had a 39mm Explorer 1 and I've had a pre-ceramic bluesy. What would I prefer? They're both very different. They're both incredibly different. What would I prefer? As an everydayer, I'd probably go the Explorer 1. Uh, I think it's quintessential. The whole thing is... It's just so elegant and refined. The Bluesy, I think that's a great watch to add if you've got a couple nice watches. It sounds like you haven't given me any background. You haven't told me how old this two-tone is. You haven't told me nothing. i got to be completely honest with you. If you don't give me any information, how am I supposed to give you an informed decision? But i got to be honest with you. Okay, so would I go for... Let, let, let's assume... Let's assume it probably wouldn't be the last of the last because they're selling for a bit of a premium. But it's a it's it's probably at least say 13, 14 years old. Would I go for that or a an Explorer one? Good question. Look, <clears throat> personally, if you want one watch to wear all the time, I'd probably go for the Explorer one. I think it's a more robust, sturdier model. If you're gonna have this you're adding it to a collection, maybe it's worth getting the two-tone Submariner. Personally, man, you come to me like, hey, this is some great oracle. This is this is this is common knowledge, yes, sir. Common knowledge, that is really a rookie question. Really, really rookie. Uh they're both reasonably good choices. I think for you being the uh amateur you are, go for the Explorer one. The Pontiff has spoken. Move right along. Okay, guys, remember, like, subscribe, tell your friends. <coughs> Don't be afraid to uh, get a paid review, 50 US dollars. I'll review your collection. I'll give you my opinion. I'll tell you what I think, the good, the bad, and the ugly. Okay, guys, I will see you in the next one. Remember, Archie can't survive on Google Ads alone. I need your support. Hi guys, Archie Luxury, and who do I recommend in America? In America, who do I recommend for quality pre-owned wristwatches? David SW, David SW, David SW. Go to davidsw.com. He is the best, the greatest pre-owned dealer in all of the United States of America. David SW, David SW, David SW. Hey guys, Archie Luxury, who do I recommend for watches in Brisbane and Sydney? Vintage Watch Co, that's correct. Vintage Watch Co in Brisbane Arcade in Brisbane and the Strand Arcade in Sydney. Vintage Watch Co, Brisbane and Sydney. Ronnie, I've known him since the late 
90s. Ronnie is a top bloke. Luke is a great guy. Vintage Watch Co. That is who I recommend in Australia. Check out Vintage Watch Co. and the guys' amazing range of watches. They also do service and repairs. Vintage Watch Co. That is where the pontiff goes. You know, some of my paddocks came from Vintage Watch Co. That's right, guys. Vintage Watch Co.